Keenan, uh, come coming here. You played several seasons at BYU. You're you're an older guy, but you're a new guy. What's it been like the first couple of months trying to assimilate to a new team? It's been really smooth, actually. I, you know, I talk to my wife about it all the time. Like it's been an easy transition for us, and I tell her a lot a lot of the time. I'm like, man, the team, the culture is it's really good and it's strong. And like me coming in, you never know how it is. You know, you transfer in schools, you don't know how it's gonna be. But Tennessee's been really loving. The players have been great to me. It's been great to get to know them. Adam, this is. You, uh, you were a bowl MVP against Josh Hopple's Central Florida team. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> did he ever discuss that with you? Did you remember that? What were your impressions of that offense when you went against it three years ago? Yeah, we, we talked about it all, all the time. It was kind of funny when, we, when he first brought it up to me. Um, we played them, UCF. In the COVID year, I think they had a lot of guys missing. Uh, we we kind of took it to them, but man, that's some that's some tempo right there. It almost doesn't even feel like uh, football for a second. You're feeling like it's rugby because it's so up tempo. But yeah, that was cool to experience. Two things: Why were you looking for uh, to move on from BYU? Yeah, it was my last year. Um, uh, BYU was making some changes on the the D staff too, but I felt like it was it was a good opportunity for me to. Uh, transfer and to come to a place like Tennessee and uh, it's what I fell in love with. I think I got um, what I was wanting out of my last year to be and I'm excited for the future. What kind of role do you see yourself in this year? Can you ask that one? Yeah, what kind of role do you see yourself playing on, on this team this year? Yeah, I, I, whatever they need me to do. You know, you talked about it. A lot of people talk about my age. You know, I'm an old man on the team and it's kind of a funny joke, but you know, if I can bring any type of leadership or experience in any way. That's what I hope to do. Other than that, I hope my play just speaks for itself, that I can give the energy and effort each day from, for the boys around me. Your name was mentioned as one of the leaders in the linebacking core. How have you earned the trust of everybody to be a leader already? You know, I really did, I, I didn't try to, you know, I try not to, say much, you know, try not to be, you know, when I first came in, didn't want to be too vocal or too out there. You know how that is with transfers coming in and wanting to do too much. And, you know, I always ask that I can, you know, kind of work from the ground up. You know, I, I hope that my actions can speak for myself and everything will flow however it needs to flow. And if the room needed um, more leaders, I'll, I could definitely step in and, and help. McAllen talked to us on Tuesday about you know, one of the reasons that he was motivated to transfer here was to challenge himself by playing in the SEC. Was, mm -hmm. was that part of it for you to play in this conference against, you know, what is perceived to be the best players? Yes. Yes. That was something I was very excited about. Um, and, and being in the transfer portal was something I wanted. You mentioned you're one of the older guys in the room, but in a room full of young guys, who's impressed you the most, you know, you coming in with as much experience as you have? Man, these young guys are great. Um, I think guys like Arion, you know, stick out, and you got Jalen, Jeremiah, um, you know, great athletes, Ben Bolton, uh, Will. You know, they're young, but they're really athletic. And... Um, they're going to make some noise here in the future, for sure. You uh, you played when BYU came here. I guess it was 2019. You yeah. played in that game. What do you remember about that? Did that come up at all when you were – you have some flashbacks when you came here on your visit? Yeah, they, they asked me about that. I, that was my freshman year at BYU. We came to Tennessee. It was 2019. Um, the, the one thing I remember from the game was just the crazy, you know, atmosphere – you know, even to this day, I remember that game, how loud it was. I think they caused us to have two uh, false starts, like, right at the beginning of the game, just because of the noise of the stadium. So that was a pretty cool experience, being able to be there and remember those, that game. I guess at one point, Tennessee was going to play at BYU this season. Yeah, it's supposed you, to be this. Were you disappointed that that didn't happen here? Even, I guess, that was determined before you changed, before you transferred and all that. Yeah, I didn't really think about it, but... Up, oh, Frank Kitty. What's Tennessee getting in fellow BYU transfer Gabe Judy Lolly? Gabe's gonna Gabe's gonna work. Um, I know Gabe. You know he was he was at BYU for I, I think maybe six months. He transferred in from Vanderbilt, and it's cool to have him here in Tennessee. But they're gonna get someone. He's gonna work. 
he's a smart football player and he brings a lot of um, you know, size into the, the corner room. Great player. Back here in the back, you said you were married. Tell me about that dynamic, uh, having to manage your time with that, with your wife, with school and playing football. What's that like for you? Yeah, it can be tough at times, but man, I, you know, I always feel blessed. I feel like I found a good one because she's as about it as me, you know. It can get hard sometimes because you're, you're away so much and they're, they're waiting there and want to see you and want to spend time. But man, she's in it, bought in as, as me. She massages me in the night, like takes any, any, anything to help my body and make me feel healthy for sure. I know it's only six practices in, so it's not a, a finished product, but how are you adapting to uh, the scheme defensively, picking up the playbook? And um, is it kind of learning on the fly or did you do a lot of preparation before even practice started? Yeah, I, I, what helped me the most being in, in spring ball now was that little time period in winter workouts. I was really able to dive into the playbook and get a head start. And I think that's kind of helped me flow into spring, especially you're, you're taking those plays and now you're trying to transfer it into playing. So for sure. Keita, for those who may not have seen you play, how would you describe your, yourself as a linebacker, how you play the game? Uh, I, I feel like my, my greatest you know, tangible is that I'll play, to, I'll play to the whistle. You're going to feel my energy and effort and everything I have on, on game day. And I feel like that's a, a big plus for me. I felt like I can help in the run, help in the pass. But really, you're going to get a guy that, that plays to that whistle every single down. Back up front, Kenny. How different schematically is what you were doing at BYU to what is being asked in this defense this year? Uh, different, for sure. Different, for sure. But there was a lot of carryover. Um, I think in philosophy, it was, it was really different. Um, Tennessee's obviously a little more aggressive than, com way, co way, way more aggressive than compared to what I was doing at BYU. So um, a lot of it carries over, but it, it's different for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.